and it is there. So I'm happy to meet with you again, Bill, and let us discuss the topics. I have heard that there is a rain at the moment with you. The, the, the weather, we're, we're thankful for the weather. Whether it's uh, dry or rainy or snowy, we're thankful for it. Uh, many places in the world uh, do not have enough rain. The rivers are shrinking. The uh, lakes are shrinking. Um, in, in, in America here in, in New England, which is the uh, northeastern corner of the, of the country, um, we're fine. We happen to have had three days of rain, uh, which we're thankful for, uh, and also wind, uh, uh, and not wind from the hurricanes. There have been two hurricanes that missed us, Bo both of them missed us, but uh, this is from a cold front in Canada, uh, which is our next door neighbor. And so whatever the weather is, we're thankful for it. And we're thankful that we're not having droughts like most of the rest of the world or uh, hurricanes or whatever else just keeps, uh, keeps going by. So uh, I think we should be all, all grateful for the weather which we have generally, even if it's not good. But what do you think that more and more companies are hiring climate managers, climate changers? I have seen even a function, climate changer. I, well, we can be we can be climate changers. In fact, part of our job is as uh, uh, constructing the wasteless world, uh, a byproduct or ripple effect of that is, is to be a climate changer. So, uh, I, I I think uh, you 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 touch on a fascinating uh, topic uh, that is uh, what uh, what uh, job titles there are now that have never been before, uh, and. Um, the, the I, I, I was looking at the um, at the smartphone, the history of the smartphone, which uh, first shipped in uh, 2007. And how many in the whole world, how many app developers were there in 2007? Of course, the answer is zero. How many app developers are there today around the world? Over nine million. They actually record that number. They measure that number. Nine million app developers from something that did not exist uh, just a few years ago. Uh, and if we were not also uh, worried about the climate changing, then we would not have your uh, uh, climate changers or, or director of climate. Or <laughs> so it's a sign of the times, I think. It uh, says what we are concerned about. Uh, I think it is a sign of the time. On the other hand, I can imagine, or I will say that the app developer develops something which you can touch. Even through the screen, it's something. But when I saw the generally the, the content or the description of the work of the weather or climate changers, it's generally reporting. So it's it's uh, I see it partly as a hired greenwashing activity for someone who can ride well. Uh, just recently, a few minutes ago, I just wrote about uh, that Coca-Cola should be the main sponsor of COP27 in, uh, in Egypt. So one of the biggest emitters should sponsor one of the biggest conference regarding the climate. And not to be uh, alone standing, generally Coca-Cola was I think it was this year or last year, it was called most sustainable company in the world by someone, I don't know. So there is so much running and <laughs> I call this time of year generally, it's a conference. Uh, right. It's time of conferences and events and everything at the end of the year where we touched this topic last time, I think, where everyone is flying there and traveling there and so on, spending great time making more damage than uh, than uh, than any time before and then just speak so my proposal will be really let's avoid these conferences let's get the money which is for the conferences and share it with 
doers all around the globe who deliver the results. That will be quite interesting change, but nobody would so, like to listen. <laughs> that's a that's a great uh, uh, topic uh, for one of your uh, blogs, or maybe even for a book. Uh, the the greenwashing of America or the greenwashing of the world, because we see this in in with with all. For example, I I see this with the um, autonomous vehicles or the driverless cars, and the the petroleum companies will lose a great deal of money when all these cars are. Uh, electric or hydrogen or whatever they end up being, they're not going to be petroleum. And 60% uh, of the petroleum industry's revenue comes from transportation. And so they're fighting against, uh, and they're fighting in their local states to delay, to, to delay uh, allowing the cars to delay. Everything that they can delay means more money in their pockets. So they are masters of this greenwashing, uh, even as it pertains to to uh, to electric vehicles. And the petroleum industry is not the only one. And the petroleum industry has a very good story. They have good marketing people um, with a good story of why delaying is a wonderful thing, and it's good for mankind, and so on. And you know, it's it's a lot like uh, clickbait that the media uses, uh, in that they want so many different organizations want you to believe their side of the story, uh, and if you don't fight and work and 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 really try, if you just swallow what they're saying, if you just accept it, uh, it it can be wrong, and and you can be wrong. So it's. It's really a challenge to us these days to look out for the clickbait, for the greenwashing, for the uh, the the bad marketing uh, stories that are being told that are so seductive. In my opinion, uh, I think you are absolutely right. There is one topic which I generally found out in the last thirty years or so when I was hiring people in previous jobs generally. I have learned that more and more people have learned in universities mainly or during their life to pretend. And there has been a really great pretender. So they pretend to know everything, every time, every number and so on. And it was really hard to recognize. I asked them all the time a question. We have two words. So we, you can say you go to work or you will be employed. So there are two things, a slightly different meaning in Czech Republic. So I tell them, okay, we need somebody who will work, not who just look for employment. And everybody says, yes, of course, I am, I am a hardworking guy. And But do you know what was the hardest question for this, for everyone generally? Not because I ask in English, it was just additionally, but I asked them what is their dream job? Very few people who came to to, to employment discussion or whatever, has been able to answer this question. They came to say, I will be secretary or I will be assistant, I will be whatever, what was written in the, in the ad channel. But very few have been able really to, to say, okay, my dream job is very different, but I need money I, and, and I will do the work good. But mm. it, was, it was quite hard for them. And right now, <laughs> Really, there are so many people. Even in the school, you you learn how to write. The Germans say who write, then these people stay. So, aber schreibt der bleibt is it's 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 in German generally. So, if you can sell yourself, you will stay on the place. And just now, if you look, for example how increase is the presence of uh, of the uh, secretary general of the united nations who was not seen for months and years generally and right now he's every day on twitter and every day somewhere delivering a speech <laughs> it looks like that 
he feels that he is generally obsolete. Or perhaps, perhaps he has uh, hired a, a social media uh, expert uh, to, to raise his visibility. For sure will be there because very few of these people have their or manage their own social media right. profiles. They hire right. people. And that's the other job, which was not there before. Nobody before was a social media expert. Exactly, right. social media, what it is, Facebook, Twitter, nobody needed it. Today, every politician has it. Everybody who wants to achieve something have to have a social media presence. There is one interesting thing, you can try it. Uh, recently, a few days ago, LinkedIn uh, opened a new feature, even for a free account. You can look how many people you reached with your posts in the last seven, 14, 90, and one year days. It's very interesting. Before it was <laughs> closed for us with free account, it was open only for far for the other people. I can send you how to generally, but it's quite interesting because I make myself, you know, I'm heavy contributor myself. I cannot imagine that somebody else does my posts because they are here. Right. To explain it to someone, I cannot imagine, but interesting, in one year, I am at 3.6 million people. So, Michael, what does that measure? Does that measure the number of, uh, of, of eyeballs that saw it? They just scrolled through it and they saw it or they liked it or they... Uh, for sure not likes, for sure not comments. So I will say uh, people who, who saw the post. So this is the number which, uh, which is indicated with every post. 200 people have seen it. So... But I don't know whether it's they have to read it or so. That's I'm not I'm not aware of the details. Right, right, right. But it surprised so, me. So that's I, yeah. I'd like to uh, I'd like to see that if you would be so kind. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I will send you a few few screenshots. It's <laughs> it's quite easy to reach. So yeah. So you you mentioned uh, a minute ago. Um, uh social media experts being a new occupation and we were talking about the metaverse uh, every once in a while you and i talk about the metaverse and i was reading through the list of the hundreds literally hundreds of new jobs that are associated with the metaverse and and i i understand the metaverse about this much, um, but what I see is both wonderful and scary. There, there are very few of the arriving new technologies that uh, that alarm me. Uh, the metaverse alarms me, but it's it's going to open up uh, new worlds and. I, I, the thing that worries me is that people will use it to escape the real world, like uh, like an addiction, uh, like alcohol or drugs or or something like that, and will lose the ability to function uh, in the real world, whatever the real world means. I'm, I'm not sure what the words the real world. I'm not sure what that means. Does that mean in in the Connecticut uh, where I live, or does that mean? in the social stratus that I do most of my uh, work in, or I don't know what it means, um, the real world. I think there are a million real worlds, and and we walk between several of them, and some we never get to. But now if you add the metaverse on top of that. So anyhow, we shall see. You know, um, for me, the the real world i call the physical world it's a physical so it doesn't matter whether i am sitting in here or you are there or whether we are on a social the, you can touch it the meta is virtual world for me you cannot touch it even if you have the gloves and so on it's not the real touch right what is interesting 
Industry 5.0 started with an article called Industry 5.0 from virtual to physical. Very opposite direction that all the yeah, others interesting. go. Interesting. interesting. It was on December 1st, 2015. At that time already, the people spoke about everything should be digital, virtual, we will be happy. And so it, it was before war, before COVID. But already at the time, we ended our last discussion with swimming against the stream. Because of this swimming against the stream, was this article so interesting for the people? Because it was completely different. The issue is right now that the number and the volume of, of impacts, uh, speaking about the uh, virtual and so on, so as the number of the experts about these new words or new technologies is so fastly increasing that many, I have read some article that generally many of the articles and many of the reshares are not done by people anymore. They are artificial intelligence and robots. And I saw it. So when I, you know, I'm three times a day, I'm checking for industry 5.0 updates. And many times one article is just projected in many servers. And what is interesting, the name of the author is changed. And if you try to track the author, that it does not exist. At least I cannot track him with my tools, which are standardly available. But quite interesting, just yesterday, no, day before yesterday, I, with one of my controls, came to me Volkswagen. And I said, okay, so I spoke to, or I contacted Volkswagen many times, never get a reply. I was in Škoda, which is part of the Volkswagen. I make some lessons there, but I never was at Volkswagen uh, directly. And <laughs> the crazy part, they publish, I can send it out to you. They publish for German investors, it is in, in, in English, together with HSBC Bank, new report, and on I think it's 94 pages or something like that. And on page 40, they indicate that they direct to Industry 5.0. So even in this long report, Google can search the term, find it. It was a PDF generally. It find it, it delivered to me. And many pages right now, today I discovered three, use the name only in CO of the website. So you cannot see it in the text. It's somewhere behind in the code of the website, but it must be there because Google discovered it. So it's quite interesting how these connections are. And I just really wait for the moment when the first one will say, okay, we said that we will go to industry 5.0, so we would like to do it the right way. Uh, this moment in the came yet, but it's <laughs> quite interesting to see this. Yeah, yeah. Everybody is using this as clickbait, as a marketing tool, and defining what comes behind it in, in whatever way uh, financially is beneficial to them, and. And, and, and it's such a shame because it's a it's a it's a, a beautiful concept, and uh, and and it's just getting ba bastardized. Um, what is even more crazier is that if they adopt it, it will make them more profitable. It's not that that industry five point mean take all your money out of your pockets and you will have nothing. In fact. You know it, the reduction of wasting. I just make a poll last week, I think. What is the first impact you feel when you stop, when you prevented waste happen systematically? I don't remember the answers, but the number one was, I have more money. Number two was, I have more time. Of course, because <laughs> if you stop wasting, you have more of the other things which you wasted. So simply this. And uh, I think the issue is that Volkswagen report wrote somebody who is in financial department or marketing department or whoever, but he is in a silo and he does not speak with the people in a production department. He does not speak with the bosses and so on. And the same in the bank. 
So they have people to write these papers. So this is why I think that even the owners of the companies do not read these papers. Because they don't need to read it. They need that these papers are read by someone. So this is why the click bytes and everything is written there uh, in a way. But I think <coughs> this makes the true development really slow. Right. It slows it, slows it down. down. Because of all these silos, which we can imagine as steps, which are there and <coughs> But you you uh, you mentioned uh, silos and, and and I agree with you and what you know what I what I do all day long is is talk to uh, CEOs and boards of directors uh, about strategic planning and to change uh, to change their strategic planning uh, approach. But I try not to use the word change because people do not respond well to the word change and it's mainly because silos uh and silos are not a bad thing silos are uh a a human response a a defensive mechanism uh because there are so many uh, uh inputs and data points in the world that we cannot deal with all of them there are millions that we see or um, that impact us every day. And if we thought through each one of them and and filed them where our uh, our own intelligence says they should be filed, uh, we we won't sleep. Uh, we'll we'll go crazy. Uh, there's just too many of them. So it's a defensive mechanism. It's just like um, uh, stereotypes, which everybody uses that word as if it's a bad word it's not a bad word it's a good word because it's a defensive mechanism and if we did not have stereotypes and prejudices prejudice is not a bad word prejudice is a good word it teaches us not to repeat the mistakes we've made in the past uh, to but it's uh, as, as as with everything there's a good reason for it and there's also a dangerous reason for it uh, so a, a silo is protection and 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 it and it's my job with my clients to help them to break down silos and to be more together with everybody else and to tolerate other opinions but that's against human nature in a lot of ways that's that's a, a, a trait that needs to be learned because it's all it's all just human nature that we protect ourselves and we protect our comfort and we protect our safety. And that's a human nature. So uh, going forward to help a client or a client's company to be uh, to 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 plan differently uh, is is really a culture change. And it's an unnatural culture change. People have to feel comfortable with it. And I don't use the word change and I don't use the word culture change because it scares scares people. Um, but what you're talking about with the wasteless world uh, is not a culture change. It's a mindset change. And in fact, it can start small. And when you see how wonderful uh, the results are when you stop wasting. When, when, when I pick up trash uh, on the on the beach, a, a, a plastic soda can, or or, and I do that, and it makes the beach better. It makes me happier to be at the beach. Uh, and when I turn off the water, when I'm brushing my teeth, and don't waste the water, or I refill my water bottle. Now my kids refill their water bottles too. Uh, and my and and my wife refills her water bottle, and 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 and, I, and there's probably others. So it, it can start small, but it is a mindset. We just don't. I, I just hesitate to call it uh, something big and grandiose. Um, the result will be big and grandiose, 
uh, in a matter of time and when enough people uh, understand this mindset. But if we scare them away, they're going to go right back to their silos. And so the idea is to lead by example, uh, is to explore thoughts, have conversations like this, where people can can discover their own uh, assumptions uh, that have been hidden under the rug and so on. You bring me to one idea or one question. You describe the silos, you describe generally the education. And at that moment, it came to my mind in the school, no matter which one, we learn how to absorb more and more knowledge, numbers, whatever. But I do not remember that we have learned how not to absorb how to really make this filter, this silo, which protect our brain, as you spoke about it the right way. Do you remember that in, in, a, in, any, in any type of school or your education or in your life that there was somebody who teaches you not to take everything in the brain? I do not. I do not. It, 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 were, it was me who recognize that there is so much and that there must be something. But uh, I do not remember that school try ever to say, okay, do not learn so much. You don't need it. I, I don't remember um, that being the case either. Um, I remember if I ignored something, uh, then I would not have that answer correct on the test. So I ignored nothing. What I did learn at some point, and it wasn't until later in my education, I learned to answer according to how the teacher wanted to see the answer. So there were some teachers who wanted the answer to be short, concise, and correct there are some teachers who wanted you to explore all the variations and 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 if you didn't answer it the way they wanted to see it i'm, I'm thinking of essay answers uh, not true and false answers but if you didn't answer the way they expected to see it they would mark you down you would get a lower grade uh, for that so one of the first things in any in September of any year going back to school uh, the first question in my mind was okay how does this teacher want to see the answer what is this teacher looking for from me and then when I went out and got a job uh, after college I did the same thing um, I, I carry that with me what does the boss want to see does he want to see me at my desk uh, by eight o'clock every morning, or does he want me to uh, be bringing lots of uh, uh, orders uh, back and he doesn't care if he ever sees my face? What does he want to see? And and I and I and and then of course that's what I did. And so through uh, the first part of my life, I worked very hard to do what other people wanted me to do without asking myself, what do I want to do? Or what is good for the earth? Or I didn't ask those questions. Um, and uh, and you, ask, you ask, who was it that taught you? Where, where did you start to learn uh, to ignore some things? And, um, and, I, and my answer to you is that I'm still learning. I'm learning which media channels um, to listen to and which just not to even bother going there. Uh, I'm learning, uh, I'm still learning all these things. As you and I talk about the wasteless world and and uh, we're, of course, we're, we're writing that book on our wasteless world uh, and I'm discovering so much more. I'm also discovering that the uh, the whitewashing and the you know the the good marketing and the clickbaits that everybody who who has to adopt this everybody has to 
adopt this wasteless world concept, um, but they are uh, incentivized by their own paycheck or their own uh, income to stay in their silo and don't tip over the apple cart. Just do what you're told to do and don't think and don't think of the alternatives and don't think of the ripple effects. That's what most people in this life, I think, uh, are responding to. And, uh, and and I think only people who get to be older, see, if you are a soldier and you die when you're 18 years old or 21 years old or something, uh, it's probably a bad analogy, uh, but you don't have the luxury of reaching a point in your life or a, a level of understanding in your life where you can ask yourself these questions. You do what you're told. And if your boss wants more than you, find a way to give them more. And so, and, and this is kind of, this is what I'm discuss, uh, discovering now in my life is so many things happened in my life because I tried to please other people. And I tried to respond to the teachers and to the bosses and to <laughs> whoever was in a position of power that I wanted to please. And I'm I'm looking now at that's wrong for me. Maybe that's right for other people, but for me, I need to <clears throat> stay out of that silo people keep trying to put me in. I think you just reached the very beginning of our discussion with the metaverse. Because metaverse is one of those who say to you what to do. You don't need to think because the metaverse think for you. They will give you the meta beer. They will give you the meta friends. They will connect you. You know how LinkedIn is uh, making suggestion to whom you should connect, to whom not. Generally, it's uh, they learn from the from the habits, from the behavior, and this is this is uh, there is one even uh, big hidden evil that you know your boss, you know your teacher. You do not know who is behind metaverse. That's a huge point. That's a huge point, right? And I think that's that's. Uh, I like that you call it generally that we have to we have to generally we have the freedom to choose, but it takes time. But on the other hand, I met young people who already know what to do and who reach the stage much more earlier uh, than us. Uh, which is great. Uh, the question is whether uh, they are missing the consistency of the of the approach usually because they are they would like to have it tomorrow and the next day something new and so on. Uh, so the consistency is missing. But it is it is quite interesting how we generally came back to the topic and how it's is the question, what will be the really the breaking point for everyone? So for me, you know, the question, wasteless world, the image of this world is the connecting part. But is there anything where the people, I don't think so, they will say, okay, I don't need to eat because I will do something because everybody needs eat, eating, everybody needs to feed the family. Uh, so I'm not so sure what, if there is something which can be so strong that everybody will say, okay, right now I change. Everyone in the world, no matter how big, small, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I suspect that that would be uh, an individual breaking point or there, that would be an, right? Um, but when I look at uh, uh, examples like uh, alcohol, and drugs, uh, even things like gambling, uh, the, uh, for all the addictions, and 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 generally, the people who are uh, in in that uh, addicted to those uh, do stop 
uh, eating properly and sleeping properly and doing the things that need to be done, taking care of the family and so on. Uh, generally, they they do stop that, and 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 people do die from malnutrition because they uh, drank too much or they whatever the addiction is, uh, and so th that's what uh, that's what I'm concerned about with the metaverse is that it's so attractive, and there's no pain in in the metaverse, uh, you know. It, it, there's pain in the real world if you don't eat and sleep and do the things that are necessary but in the metaverse there may not be pain there may uh, not be pain have you seen the latest uh development so the, generally they use the uh, virtual glasses not one pair but two on a coup so i don't know what was projected but the coup produced more milk after I had I had not heard that. I can so, send you. I will find the link. But in the past, I think in, in even in the U.S., they try to play music. Right, a different oh, type of music has influence on the on the quantity of the milk and the quality generally. Right. So right. my 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 wife's uh, uh, uncle uh, has a farm and raises cows, and they they try very hard. Um, to keep loud noises away. Whenever there's a thunderstorm, they give less milk. And and there's always uh, Brahms or Beethoven playing in the background in the barn. So it, it, this all, you know, you know, the challenge, this all fits together. Uh, everything from uh, the, the, the metaverse to, to the wasteless world to, uh, it all fits, it, it's tied together. And so that's that's one of the things that I'm I'm trying to find. What what is it that ties it all together? When I was younger, uh, I would say, <clears throat> "Well, God ties it together. Everything is because of God." Da 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 da. Um, and, and I'm not. Sure, that's too pat an answer. I I'm not sure that that's the answer I'm looking for. I think it's uh, it, it's 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 more than that, and I think also that it's probably basic. It's on a very simple level, and I'm just thinking too much about it. Um, I think it's uh, I think what ties everything together is is something simple, and and I keep going back to concepts like um, humanity, which I cannot define. If you look that up, it just it's it's circular. Uh, definitions. Uh, they use the word human a lot in all the all the definitions of humanity is is human. And yet there's some very big um, uh, paradoxes. So if human, if humanity is is um, is defined as being a human, but human people have very bad sides to them. They kill people, they make wars, they hate people, they, um, and and when I use the word humanity, it's the lack of all those things. It is it is love and taking care of each other, but not all the bad stuff. So when people talk about humanity, I think, tell me your definition of the word humanity. So I'm still struggling for the definition, but I suspect that it's something like humanity that ties the metaverse to the wasteless world to all these other big concepts that we're that we're discussing. What do you uh, think? I think you are right, but we have less than one minute. After it's ended, let's switch back to the Google Meet generally. But this uh, this meeting will be over. I do fully agree with that. The humanity is a very different. And just now one, I hope I catch it. I am just now preparing one project related prisons. And I have checked. And Wikipedia, there is more content about prisons than about freedom. Ah. So this is one part. I check it, and I was really surprised myself that uh, to found to find this. So this is.